So this is my engine. So this is the cylinder untouched. That's the way she looked. Got a little bit of shine. It's glazing from 155,000 miles. This is uh, 15 strokes. One down, one, two up, three down, four up. And uh, those darker areas are where the cylinder is uh, recessed. So the idea of honing it isn't just to break up the glaze, but it's to make everything even. So this is 30 strokes, one down, two up, three down, four up. There's 30 strokes and you can see there's a lot less dark areas. And then here we are with another 15 onto that. So 45 strokes down and up and there's really nice cross hatching all the way across and there's hardly any dark areas. She's a pretty uniform gray. I know there's shadows. And uh, also down on the bottom there, the skirt where this pi piston really doesn't go, you can see that's all nice and clean. If you look there, you can see the ring where the piston doesn't travel a little bit and a little bit more. And of course it's pretty dark there. So you, you're getting the cylinder all the way down, but you don't wanna go down so far that you hit the journal. All right, so this is how fast you go. So cylinders have all been wiped out with gasoline because gasoline's what's the lubricates them. It's a pretty good cleaner. So I got some gasoline in here. I'm gonna wet my stones. I already got the cylinder wet. Pull that out. Get her on in there. So, if you look in there now, let me wipe it out. This will look a lot like that second one. Get a little more gasoline on this. Clean rag. You don't have to use expensive lint-free rags on this. It's just a cylinder. If you look in there now, you can see some of the dark and light areas. that rag get the stones wet again and gasoline I just wiped the cylinder in gasoline so it's good And out. And wipe it. And now if you look in there, it'll look surprisingly like number three. Show them number three you know, so they compare. And I want it to look like number four where it's pretty much a uniform gray all the way down with a lot of cross hatching. So I just, I just put gasoline in there when I cleaned it. So the cylinder's lubricated. And my stones are lubricated. And you wanna, wanna release the stones, you wanna start moving right away. Now there's a thing called a ball hone and you don't really want to use a ball hone. I don't have one. They're expensive. They're like 50 bucks just 
or 50 to 60. And uh, the reason you don't want to use one is that uh, if you look in this cylinder here, that was the first one I did. You can see those dark areas. That's where it's low. With a ball hone, you'd never see those. So ball hone is for a cylinder that you know is perfectly round and perfectly good. And once you have that, then you can use a ball hone because you don't have to you don't have to make it uniform because you know it already is. But it, so with the with a hone, you could see how it got all those areas that were darker. I smoothed the cylinder out to make it even. And now you're looking at this one that you just watched me do. And uh, go ahead and take a look in there. And you see it's pretty gray all the way down with no uh, no real dark areas. And that's a pretty good deal. Get a little bit of a lip right there. I, I did use uh, one of these to cut the lip back. And uh, apparently I can see, and that's because I'm using a, a hone. I can see I didn't quite get all the lip right there, but it's, I'm gonna call that good anyways. But you can see on this side, it's all, all gone. It's uniform gray all the way down. It's just pretty. And that's what you're looking for. And you don't want the drill turning really fast to heat up your stones. And uh, you wanna go nice and slow like I did up and down. That's pretty much it. Best of luck to you.